Ötil, Echo, Lima, Lima, Oscar. Good evening from London, England. Um, hope all is well and good. Or should I say good morning? Is it good afternoon or good night? Whatever um, time it might be around the world. From your host, your guy himself, the one and only and truly DLG Reppin. Here I am again. Short for Dilit London Guna Space. Romeo Echo Papa Papa Indigo November. So um, I've just finished watching the Carabao Cup final, and um, many congratulations to Chelsea, but many congratulations to Liverpool. It was um, one of the best nil nils I've seen in the cup final for a long, long time. Um, before I get started with my football headlines, um, or the content, should I say for that matter, make sure you drive the thumbs up like button for me, yeah? Wherever you're watching, whoever you are, whatever race you are, gender, etc., drive the thumbs up like button for me, yeah? Um, if you want to talk about the Liverpool-Chelsea um, um, Cup final, um, that's the Carabao Cup final, that is. Um, leave it in the comment section below. Positive feedback is more than welcome in the comment section below. So your messages, your opinions, your thoughts of the game in the comment section below. Um, help me by sharing this channel um, virally all over the world, especially to your friends and your relatives who are watching for the first time. Yeah, tell them to share it amongst their friends and relatives. Yeah, and for the first time as well. Speaking of the, for the for, uh, speaking for the first time of watching, subscribe to my channel. That's myself and I only DLG repping. Smash that subscribe button, yeah. Let's get the subscribe numbers um, rising up, yeah, in abundance, left, right, and centre galore. And do excuse me, I've got a really, really sore tooth and a face ache as well. So um, I'm not gonna be. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be at my fluent best, but I'm going to do this briefly. And that's um, the headline today for me is um, the sacking of Marcelo Bielsa. Um, it's come as no surprise to me. Poor on a form defensively. Worse than the shambles. 10 times, 20 times worse than the shambles. The goals that they've been leaking in. They are definitely sleepwalking towards relegation. And I think the board of the directors have taken it into the consideration to allow him to go it wasn't the best um yeah it wasn't easy for them to make that decision but you know there's concerns why the team's lacking leaking goals after goals after goals they can't keep going that way otherwise they will sleep themselves back they will sleepwalk back into the championship which is the last thing they want so um Marcelo Bielsa has been sacked unfortunately I haven't got the um title on the BBC Interactive because it's been taken off. However, um, <clears throat> Leeds United are set to name a manager um, tomorrow, so I'll keep my eyes peeled on that. Well, um, with Leeds United this season, you have to admire the courage um, of playing this attacking football philosophy, and um, Bielsa was never going to change that. That's fine, but what you needed is um, a defensive um, structure, a solid back line who's organised and disciplined. In certain fixtures, you're not going to always um, get away with playing the way you want to play because there's, be there's better teams out there that will um, punish you, and they've been punished brutally. I mean, the biggest one is a 6-0 away defeat to Liverpool. I mean, to go to Anfield and lose 6-0, that's, <laughs> that's um, horrible. I mean, if you go to Anfield and you lose by one or two clear goals, I'll, I think I can just about um, understand that. And the manner of it, it's due to the performance was just shocking. It must have been a poor performance. Leeds United fans, I haven't seen um, any of the goals for that game away to Liverpool. But if you want to um, talk about it, then leave it in the comment section below. 
Otherwise, um, I'm going to move on to the gossip column for today. <laughs> Do you bear with me? I've got a... I'm not really well physically. A face ache and a tooth ache combined. That is just horrible. And every time I clutch my teeth, I can feel the pain. I'm due another wisdom tooth to take um, take out. So, oh, it is painful. Just hope and pray that I can sleep well tonight. <laughs> Right, let's start off with uh, Massa, and um, according to the article, Real Madrid believe they can afford the financial packages needed to sign Paris and Jamar and France striker Kylian Mbappe and Borussia Dortmund and Norway forward Erlen Borholland this summer. Wow, this is a club that have always been ambitious and I'll tell you what, if they pull off these two signings, you know, you have to look at Real Madrid very carefully. And very seriously, you got to take them very seriously because they are trying to make a hell of a statement, especially in Europe as well, where they want to be um, champions of Europe again in the near future. And I'll tell you what, Mbappe and Holland would be a statement signing. Right, um, according to the star, Newcastle are keen on signing Chelsea and Spain goalkeeper Kepa Ares Belonga. In the summer, with the Blues prepared to listen to offers around the 50 million mark. Well, I'll tell you something, yeah. And I mean, I'll tell you something. As long as they don't allow him to take penalties in a shootout, then they're good. He is a good goalkeeper, I will say this. Um, it just shows you that Newcastle are planning to build from the back. And uh, that signing would be a very good signing for them. So let's see how that pans out. Meanwhile, Newcastle United co-owner Amanda Staveley says Lille's 22-year-old Dutch defender Sven Botman and Manchester United's England midfielder Jesse Lingard both wanted to join the club, time signing club in January. This is coming from the Athletic subscription required. Who knows how true that might be. However, Tottenham want to beat Newcastle to the signing of Botman to convince manager Antonio Conte that the club will back him and that's also been um, covered by the star West Ham boss David Moyes did I say David or David Moyes says he spoke to Colombian for Luis Diaz as the Hammers tried to sign the 25 year old before he joined Liverpool how much weight how much weight of truth how much weight in the truth that that's, does that have I mean now, um, Football London have come out with a statement um, that they so they um, were told by David Moyes. Well, it might be, it might not be. It's 50-50 for me. Barcelona lead Bayern Munich in the race to sign Chelsea's 25-year-old Danish defender, Andres Christensen. Mm. Now, yeah, his contract has not been... Um, negotiated at Chelsea so we just don't know Chelsea have offered him a new deal I don't think it feels like it they have so um, Barcelona um, are rumoured to be leading the race to sign him ahead of Bayern Munich right uh, Real Sociedad and Sweden striker Alexander Isaac is favouring a switch to Barcelona over a move to Arsenal in the summer well, this is it. You see, he wants to st if he wants to stay in Spain, according to Sport in Spanish. Again, it would be Barcelona will get his signature, not Arsenal. However, it is been, it has been rumored that Arsenal's representative went to go and talk to him. You know, who knows what's been said? We don't see what's going on, rightfully so. But it would be nice for Arsenal, my club, to get a striker in the summer because we need one. If not him. I think a Dominic Calvert-Lewin would be ideal for me, personally. I'm going to read one more here. and um, It says that English striker Ashley Fletcher, who joined Watford last summer, is set to join Major League Soccer side New York Red Bulls on loan. Right. <clears throat> That's coming from Watford Observer. Well, um, he's obviously not featured in the squad this season, I would assume, so... If he does decide to join the Major League Soccer side, then all the best to him. Right, I'm going to end it here. 
as you can see, I'm really in pain. And say, once again, let me wrap this up by saying, ladies and gentlemen, to the boys and the girls, thank you for listening, thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching. As I always say, saving the best to last, thank you so much for putting up with me and my tooth and face ache. I'll be back um, for tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to be able to do another video this evening. I don't see why not. I'm just going to go to bed and really try and sleep it off. Um, yeah. All I need to say is um, take care of your families, take care of your friends, take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Keep warm. Although the weather was nice today where I am in London, England. If the weather is good where you are, um, let me know about it in the comment section below if you want. And while you're doing that, smash the thumbs up, like button, share and subscribe. Do all of that for me. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, DLG Repping. We'll talk again. Peace, love and bless again. Do remember just to be nice. Thank you.